what you'll need to get started is a screwdriver. Um, any card you have will do to help open up the laptop. I'll show you how in a sec. I'll be using isopropyl alcohol to help uh, clean the thermal paste off the processors. And of course, the thermal paste you'll be using to replace it. Today, I'll be using the Noctua NTH1. Make sure to put a cloth under your laptop to avoid scratching it. These five screws are the shorter ones and these six screws are the longer ones. Now lift up your laptop and take this card and put it in this corner and just use some force to push it through and it should just open up like this. And just slide it along the sides as well. So we'll be replacing the thermal paste which is under the GPU here and the CPU here. This will be the VRAM modules around it. Now the first thing you want to do is disconnect the battery from the motherboard through this plug here. So you just want to pull it out like that. Now for the fun part, you can take the sticker off here since we'll need to access these eight screws here and uh, we'll be removing this heatsink off of the components. So I had an issue when I was opening this for the first time where it seemed like there was an extra screw or just something holding down the heatsink to the motherboard. What I figured out was that it was just the thermal paste that had gotten stuck to the heatsink and um, that was the only thing holding it back. So I just used pressure from this side and this side and lifted it together. I'll show you how to do that. So first you want to remove the screws from here. Now that you've removed all eight screws, what you want to do is lift from these two ends so that you don't bend the heat sink in the process. And if you are, if you do feel resistance, you can just hold this as well, hold down the motherboard while you pull on the heat sink. Don't worry about these, I've just added some electrical tape here because I thought that would help with the airflow. And there you go. That is a shoddy job, to say the least. This is why it's such a good idea to replace your thermal paste because the one included by the manufacturer is usually below average quality. I'll be using this spudger to just clean off whatever gunk I can from the sides and um, I'll finish it off with the isopropyl alcohol and some tissue paper. Now I'm going to finish wiping off the rest of it with some isopropyl alcohol and just a q-tip. So I've cleaned all the thermal paste off the heatsink and off all the VRMs and the GPU and the CPU. Now you want to take your thermal paste and since the Noctua one is self-spreading I don't need a spreader but if you have one you can use it to um, spread the thermal paste after you apply it. So you just want to put a small amount Wait a 
I'm going to put the heat sink back on top and you just want to line it up with the screws here, the screw holes and just drop it down into place and just press on it so that a thermal paste spreads. I've accidentally put some extra thermal paste here so I'm just going to take some tissue and wipe it off. Now I like to screw down the heat sink and then just take it off again to check if the thermal paste is spread properly so that's what I'll be doing. So I've put in these four screws and I'm just going to take them off again to see if it's spread properly. So as you guys can see, I think this thermal paste has spread pretty well across the CPU and the GPU. The VRAMs have a little less, so I might just add a little more there. Now after applying a little more, I'm just gonna put it back down, line it up with the screw holes. Once you've put all eight screws in, just make sure that the heatsink is not really bent in the process. And this is a small detail, but we put the sticker back so the technicians don't know we did anything and your warranty is still intact. Now before you shut the laptop, make sure to plug in the battery back into the motherboard. To close it up with the back plate, what you want to do is line up these fan holes with the fan and then just drop it down and push it. Don't be afraid to use some force. You'll hear the feedback that the clips are snapping back into place just like that. If you want to know what performance difference you can expect with the new thermal paste, get subscribed so you don't miss my next video. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next